Hey, 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 guess what time it is? It's speed build time, as always, and just like usual, I'm starting with it partially done, like the exterior of it done, and just like last time, I'm still recovering from the whole wisdom teeth being yanked out of my mouth, you know, viciously. Um, but the reason that I start with the exterior done is because I always take forever to do them. With this one, for example, it seems like a pretty simple suburban house, and it is a simple suburban house, but, like, the amount of times that I change the colors of the windows and the doors, kind of pathetic. So, just don't need you to see how sad that was, um, that I'm so indecisive. But, I'm pretty proud of this one. What I wanted to do, essentially, was remake the house that the Tinker family lives in from Eco Lifestyle. Now, the house that the game comes with them living in is the one that is like comically bad that everyone is like ah when they see because the roof pieces don't work and it's like some big mansion and like that all that didn't first of all didn't make sense in the neighborhood it was in so i was like scrap that and second of all it didn't really make sense with who the tinkers are because you know tina tinker she's just like kind of you know into recycling and not super into big mansions like you just don't get that vibe she the girl wears overalls without the shoulder straps on you know she's not a mansion kind of gal um the house that i made them though it is more like modern and new and i'm actually really proud of it because i have this thing the color red in me we don't get along we've never gotten along but to, but this time we did. This time me and the color red, we were good friends. The entire downstairs is furnished with like red accents. Um, and I think it actually turned out pretty gosh dang good. Just, I don't know. And I think that like the orange on the exterior is something I also would usually not go for. And I just like kind of pushed myself to go outside of my comfort zone. And like, wow, that never happens. I'm like a full adult now. Um, I also, do, I don't usually include me making the floor plan. Um. Number one, because I'm bouncing around so much that it's hard to tell what's happening, like you can see right now. But this time is like the one time in my life that I've made a floor plan somewhat quickly. So you'll see me struggle with like roofs and stairs, and that's just because of weird like little things with The Sims 4 and how roofs work with uh, rooms that they cross into, right? Um, and just like little things like that, like just nitpicky things in the game that I think are actually really interesting to see um, people kind of work around those challenges, right? Like, I don't know, just weird little things in the game, like glass roofs. You, I've seen everyone's fixes for glass roofs, how they like to border them, like surround them with other kinds of roofs. And I actually agree because it makes it just look, um, less wonky to have a glass roof if it is bordered by a bunch of regular roofs. So every time I do a glass roof, right, I follow a little Simsy trick where you go and you, basically use five roof pieces to make the roof of your house in order to make glass roofs look normal that kind of thing and so yeah i just think that like little tricks like that in the sims 4 are so funny because like this game is so like they've updated it so many times and they've done so many things to fix it and make it easily usable and still like there's all these little workarounds that simmers do all the time also Here's my random question. Why, when you place roof decor and you move it, does it auto jump up? Like, what's that about? Why, what's, who, who, who did that? I also, this is another case of me doing um, parts of my build on and off screen. Because, like, like, obviously I started with the exterior pretty much finished. Um, But I, um, hmm, what's the best way to put this? I do, like, the landscaping off camera and... I do the bathrooms off camera, and then what else do I do off camera? There's just like a few little things that, like you didn't need to see me do because it was just useless and pointless and a waste of everyone's time. Um, and it's also that there's no need for me to even save that much footage to my laptop with no space on it because there's so much Sims footage on it. But I don't know. This one was definitely tricky in some ways for me because. I am very much a perfectionist, and so, like, the red tones not matching all the time, driving me nuts, the staircase not lining up perfectly with that wall, driving me freaking nuts, you know, just a few things like that, but I think overall it turned out pretty good, and the Tinker family is really small, 
Um, so their house didn't end up being huge or anything, which I think made sense because it's just Tina Tinker, her wife, and their daughter, Olive, which I also think is just a cute name. Just had to throw that one out there. Um, but yeah, so it's not like a huge house. It technically has room for three bedrooms if you want to count the office as a bedroom. Um, that's what I listed it as when I saved it to my library is like a three bedroom, two bedroom house. But I don't know. I also think, like, I wanted it to feel very much like a balance of, like, a normal home that fit in with the neighborhood it's in that would just, that was just, like, really modernized, right? So, if you look at the houses around it, they're all, like, the very plain, boxy, suburban kind of cheap houses, and I wanted this to be that, but, like, the Tinkers had gone and been, like, you know, they're the Tinkers, so I think that they would care about somewhat, like, refurbishing their house to be more eco-friendly, so that's, and, like, I also felt like Tina Tinker, obviously, she is a fabricator. That's, like, her skill. So I didn't mind using a lot of the furniture that is fabricated from Debug. Like, I went and got, like, to use the BB dot show hidden objects cheat because I felt like, oh, of course she would have chairs that she built because that's what she does. She Tina Tinker. But, yeah. And, um, interesting thing about this, I think that in this house, usually my least favorite room is the bathrooms, which I think most people have in common, because, like, what are you even supposed to do in bathrooms in The Sims? You have to stick a toilet in, you stick a shower in. The showers don't even make sense, because they're not attached to bathtubs like real life. You stick a sink in a mirror, and you call it a freaking day, am I right? But, my, in this house, my least favorite room, actually, I think, ended up being the kitchen, just because there's, like, one spot in the kitchen, like, ooh, that looks nice, but the rest of it, I'm not sure if it looks nice. But I do also like the shape of it a lot. I don't know. I think this build overall is just very u- unique to what I would usually build. Because, like, the exterior definitely looks like something I would and have made before, right? But then you go and you actually see, like, like the interior of it and, like, just the color scheme of it. And I'm like, wow, that's something that I never would have seen myself doing. Oh, and see right here, I'm doing another little workaround. We have to get rid of the windows to be able to place the gosh darn curtains. (laughs) Because The Sims 4, you know, auto-placing curtains and auto-placing everything incorrectly all the time. That's how we do. The other thing about this kitchen is it was really tiny. um, And I don't know how I could have fit it in bigger and, like, made it look good. But the sink. The sink I just wanted to not be on that spot on the counter. And it just, like, wouldn't cooperate. And it was so annoying. Oh, and you know what? The other thing, I always forget to add dishwashers. And this is, like, definitely a house that I could have put a dishwasher pretty easily into. Oh, well. It happens. Oh, and see, that, like, wood paneling from this pack, I know that I talk about how great it is all the time, but gosh darn is it great. Like, I just want to use it for accent walls in every build I've ever made ever. Like, I want to go back through and just add it to everything I've ever done because it's so darn nice. I also think that, like, so many of the wallpapers in this pack work as just, like, those nice accent walls, right? Um, That I don't think we have enough of in The Sims 4. So, like, I, like, that, I keep using that, like, like, that, uh, it's not corrugated. It's just, like, I keep using that metal kind of rusted looking one as, like, kitchen backsplashes. And I used it in the kitchen in this one, and used it, and I used it in the kitchen in, like, another one I did the other day. And I'm just, like, into it as a kitchen backsplash. And then, like, the stone wallpaper that comes with this pack I love using in bathrooms and whoa it's just so phenomenal the other thing that I love about this pack is the floors the floors make me want to cry they're so amazing like I just don't even know how to express my love for the floors because you can see how beautiful this wood floor is right like we don't have a wood floor quite like that in the game um until now obviously (laughs) but it's super super pretty And then also, I'm just, like, so into the wood hexagonal floors that come with this that look like bathroom tiles. Like, I stick them in all the bathrooms I've made since this pack came out because I I have this thing about The Sims 4 where I hate every tile we've ever gotten. Um, Like, it's no biggie deal or anything, but the only tile I've ever liked is, like, the kind of ceramic-looking tile we got in Jungle Adventure. Um, I like that one. And then I like, oh, the wood, the the hexagonal wood pattern that came in this pack that isn't tile, but looks like tile. That's about it. And I think all the other tiles are ugly. Um, 
So it's kind of unfortunate, but I'm super into that hexagonal tile and I'm super glad I got to use it. The other thing is I kept like trying to limit my packs and then it just kept not happening. So I'm sorry, um, but that didn't happen. And the other thing, I'm trying to think of like weird little th- like things about this build that like you won't see in the speed build footage. So like I think the only other things I added that you won't see besides like landscaping and the bathrooms is in the office room, I actually changed the orientation of it so that I could fit in a fireplace because there was a chimney on the roof and it didn't make sense if there wasn't a fireplace in the house. Because my brain was just like, uh, incorrect. Can't have the chimney if I don't have a fireplace. And then I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I placed like a mailbox off camera. And then I placed a little, um, like side table in the kitchen underneath the painting. I also had, like, a very hard time maintaining, like, a, like how I wanted this house to look, right? Like, right there, you see me wanting to use that kind of gallery wall of paintings or pictures um, that comes in, I want to say, Dine Out. And it's, like, a good group of pictures, but I felt like it didn't match, like, the modernity of the rest of the house. I don't know. The other thing is I have the hardest struggle with putting hallway rugs in The Sims. Like, it just never quite works out for me. I want a nice hallway rug but they're never the right size or the right length and so you know we just kind of stuck a rug there and called it a day because it needed a rug hi yeah yeah i just like sometimes i wish that we could just scale rugs like that we could almost like piece them together like we do kitchen counters like because there are some packs we get like rugs that piece together like we got one in realm of magic that kind of looks um phallic (laughs) in some swatches and then we got one in vampire like the vampire stuff game pack Is it just called Vampire Game Pack? I swear it's not, but I cannot think for the life of me what it's actually called. I don't know. I just think that, like, more rugs like that, good idea. Because sometimes your girl just wants to, like, have a rug the length she wants her the rug to be. And it's super annoying to have to constantly piece them together myself with move objects and have them not quite look right. And the overlap is really obviously visible. You may also notice I have a thing for yellow kids' rooms. I don't know what it is. It's not even, like, a gender-neutral thing. I just freaking love the color yellow. Like, I think it's absolutely stunning. And so, like, in this room specifically, I was going for yellow, and I was going to do, like, all-out yellow, and I had yellow wallpaper everywhere, and those yellow curtains and that yellow bed, and as someone who loves yellow, my brain went, ah, too much yellow. (laughs) So I added that sage in, and I actually think that it ended up working out really well. I had a hard time kind of finding pieces that matched with both colors but like that toy chest I used had like a little the little sagey blue kind of dots um on like dots of color on it that I think worked out pretty well and then just like I was able to get some sage in like with a little side table and I think that just like the fact that this pack has such like a variety of colors and has those bright pop-out colors that but they work well with like the sagey and like light blue tones of the pack is so nice like I just ah you see like I got like that painted that little leaf painting that made it more sagey looking and kind of made it so it wasn't just like yellow with like a drop of sage um I think it actually looks pretty dang good did I even ever put anything on the side table I totally did a plant I'm awesome I also have this thing where I feel like it looks stupid if you have something on every wall in a room, but it also looks stupid if you're looking at a wall and it has nothing on it. (laughs) So I try to like balance it between like curtains and paintings and clocks and whatever else, but that just biggest pet peeve in The Sims is I like don't want my walls to be empty, but I also like don't want every wall to have something on it because then it just looks like cluttery and kind of like bad (laughs) from some angles. But yeah, so like you'll see in the layout that I have this office in, it's actually not the layout in the final screenshots. I end up moving the desk to like the most interior wall. Or not the most interior wall, like the wall that is interior that is also the wall to the bathroom, if that makes any sense. Um, but I end up doing that for the sake of just being able to fit a fireplace in this room. I also like that every room was like a little bit of a different color, right? Like the downstairs is pretty open floor plan and it's all very red. Um, but then you get upstairs and the hallway is just like very boring hallway. Um, pretty plain looking. 
but then each bedroom, right, like the daughter, like the, all of her, the daughter's bedroom, hers is that yellow and sage, and it has the sagey wallpaper and the yellow curtains, and then the master suite is so purple themed, which I did because it's so rare that you get to make, like, an adult couple's bedroom, um, purple, just because you, like, I feel like I don't want to make them look overly feminine all the time, but where this was for two women, I didn't feel like it was overly feminine or that I was like, you know, ignoring one of the people who was going to sleep there. And I just love like purple bedrooms. I think they're so soothing. Like the purple color that I ended up using on the walls in there. Mwah, I love it. It's just like makes me want to take a freaking nap right now. I mean, it's also like two, three in the morning. So I want to take a nap right now regardless. Yeah. And then I think like the blue in the office was very like just nice because if you're working in an office, you need to nice cozy color but I ended up not putting curtains in there oh and we're at screenshots <laughs> where have I been okay well I'm gonna go thank you so much for watching have an awesome day goodbye